Here is a wonderful courtroom in Upper Sandusky, Ohio. As I said, we were pretty much centered in that area with everything being a fairly close drive to where we were in Mansfield. Beautiful courtroom. The folks there were very accommodating, by the way, to the local people. I think they were very excited that we were shooting a movie there. And so we got a great deal of cooperation from them. They really did welcome us. I was very taken by that. Hi, I'm Don Stephen, owner of Stephen Lumber Company when Castle Rock came to town to film Shawshank Redemption scenes. Come on inside with me. Let's take a walk back in time to the summer of 1993. This is the actual bandsaw in use at the time the film was made. Uh, it's sometimes called a Shawshank saw. Say that three times fast. They, they stopped all the traffic. <laughs> the, the, there were no cars or trucks allowed up and down the road and, and no railroad trains either, right? Or whoever, whoever was directing uh, that particular scene, and I don't remember which one it was, um, everything was quiet and we were, the, the, the people were going through their lines and you could hear this train whistle in the background, way in the background. Mm -hmm. I never even thought twice about the thing. Uh, and I hear this slam. <laughs> Somebody throws his clipboard on the floor and says, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> it was, was it Frank Darebont or uh, who was it? I wouldn't want to mention names. Oh, I, I'm not <laughs> sure who it was anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, did they have that music playing in here? They didn't have the music. No, there was no, no they don't do that. They had it later. Mm -hmm. However, uh, I was standing back there behind the table and there were quite a few people around. Uh, a lot of so-called prisoners from the from the fight, mm -hmm. and uh, we went through the scene, and somebody says, "You do it." Uh, I said, "Now, well, got a piece of uh, got a piece of something, put an X on it, and hung it up here someplace. I don't know where it is now. It was right up in this area here." And he says, "When the, when the music starts, you're supposed to be so surprised you look at the speaker." And he says the speaker is right there. Oh, that okay. That's, 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 that's that. Yeah, I was wondering sure. why everybody turned to look. That's a, that's neat. Yeah. So there's something to look he at. Says, you're supposed to be surprised that uh, you'd hear music like that in a prison. Yeah. It's uh, it's, it's something that uh, you'd never hear that sound, kind of music in a prison. And so you're surprised, and you looked there at the speaker, and everybody was looking different directions. So I was like, that's not gonna work. You need to look there. That's great. drum sander that was in several scenes of the movie too. Your decision to film on location was brilliant. It provides fans of the movie and of the actors an opportunity to walk where they walked, touch what they touched, uh, maybe to bring them inspiration or, or hope. This movie is held in high regard and a selection in 2007 by the American Film Institute as one of the top 100 movies of the last 100 years is a testament to that. The Stephen Lumber Company has passed into history and this big beautiful building lies silent. We hope to be bustling with activity these coming months in preparation for a 15th anniversary celebration this August. We'll invite all the extras and friends of the movie and hope you can help provide us 
with anything that would make their visit special. To have anyone from Hollywood here would be outstanding, but a video also would be great. Oh, by the way, I'm Bill Mullen, and this is my wife, April, and we hope to be hearing from you soon. Thanks for your time.